Let's take a look at what this proof is asking me to do. At the start, it tells me that SZ is congruent to ST, so I'm going to mark those two segments congruent. Um, also, it tells me that XY is congruent to DW. So I've marked both of those. I'm told that I have midpoints. Y and V are both midpoints. And I want to show that SX is congruent to SW. Notice that SX and SW are the full segments that make up the two sides of that triangle. So the problem I have right now, it could really simply be an addition property if I had three congruent parts that I could add up for both of these two segments. But you'll notice that I'm missing parts of segments. Something that I noticed really early in the process, though, if I take SZ and ST and they're congruent, all I really need to show is that TW has the same length as ZX, because then I would have congruent pieces, I would be adding on to congruent pieces, and I would be done. So this proof actually can be done really, really quickly, really, really easily. Well, how does that work? Here's the question. If I want to show that ZX is congruent to TW, Notice this statement right here. I have double midpoint statements. And when I have double midpoint statements, most likely it's going to have something to do with one of the properties because it's telling me that two segments both have midpoints. The same thing is being done to both, which means that I'm going to have results that are the same as well. Here's what that really means. Notice, because Y is a midpoint and because V is a midpoint, I'm shown that both of those segments are being broken in half. So really what I'm being told is that this half of segment ZX is congruent to this half of segment TW. Well, if I have two halves that are congruent to each other, I can double those two halves, and I know that the holes are going to be congruent. So that's all I need to do. If I'm doubling two things, I'm multiplying them both by two, that's really just multiplication. So if I have two equal things, and I double those two equal segments in this case, I know that the whole segments are going to be congruent. So I'm going to say that segment ZX is congruent to segment TW. And the reason, very simply, is going to be the multiplication property. And again, specifically, um, the multiplication property states that if two segments are congruent, then the multiples of those segments are also congruent, if you wanted to write that out as an if-then statement. Step six, and we're almost done. I've now shown that this segment is congruent to that segment. If I have congruent segments, and I add two congruent segments, I get two whole congruent segments. And that's just the addition property. So SX is congruent to SW by the addition property states that if congruent segments are added to congruent segments, then the sums are congruent. And at this point, I finish my proof.